welcome. So on screen, I have a critical reasoning question. This question is pretty interesting because it is an accept question type. So I would like you to pause the video, watch, solve the question and join back for the explanation of the same. So I'm sure you must have gone through this question. So my first task in critical reasoning is to understand what the question statement says. So the question statement tells me that each of the following, if true, provides some support for Dr. Field's hypothesis, except great. Now, based on this, my next step would be to deconstruct the question body. So let us try deconstructing before I really get down to analyzing the options. So when I read this little paragraph, I notice that the first sentence is a piece of information. It says, it is well known that human tears often serve to moisten the eye, protect it from infection and wash away irritants. Such tears are called irritant or reflex tears. So this introduces something called as RT, human tears called as RT. Then I have the second sentence which says, Dr. Field hypothesizes. So whose opinion am I introducing? Whose conclusion? Dr. Field's conclusion. Now, Dr. Field is telling me that emotional tears have a different biological function. So, Dr. Field introduces something called as ET. And definitely, ET is different from RT. At least from the two sentences, I can say, has a different function. Why? How? I mean, what is the basis of this whole sentence? Then I have the last sentence, which I can call as premise 2. She's suggesting, so on the basis of this particular sentence, she definitely is telling me why is it different, that by shedding tears under emotional stress, so which type of tears are being shed under emotional stress, ET, people excrete harmful chemicals that build up in such body fluids as blood serum during emotional stress. So one thing is crystal clear. Dr. Field is telling me that my reflex tears have nothing to do with emotional stress. They are just irritant based tears, which normally come when there is an irritation in the eye, an external aspect. But emotional tears are something when there is stress, I will have ET. So this is what Dr. Field is trying to hypothesize. Now, my question clearly tells me it's an accept question. So if I rephrase it, it would mean Find me an option, the correct option, that does not support Dr. Field's hypothesis. So something which is supporting, I will cancel. And anything that is not supporting, that means it can weaken Dr. Field's hypothesis or does not impact Dr. Field's hypothesis will be my correct answer. So this is my basic understanding. Now, how do I go about analyzing my options? Now, for an accept question, a very interesting method that uh, will help you save time is do not look at the word accept. So the first thing is don't look at the word accept. Focus on everything before accept. So we can call this as the wrong option condition, right? So my basic task would be find options that satisfy the wrong family condition and cancel them. So there will be four such options. Four options would definitely satisfy the wrong family condition. So if I have to support Dr. Field's hypothesis, what do I know? That ET, emotional tears, definitely are different from RT. And in ET, what do you notice? Emotional stress as a factor. That is going to reduce. It is related to my emotional stress. Whereas RT has no relationship with emotional stress is what Dr. Field tells me. So let me find options which will satisfy this particular part of the passage. The people most likely to cry when undergoing emotional stress are less likely to suffer from stress-related disease. So if you are crying when you are under stress, definitely E-tears are there and your stress is coming down than in the population at large. So this option does show a relationship between emotional tears and stress going down. So what is this doing? This is supporting Dr. Field's hypothesis. Anything that is supporting Dr. Field's hypothesis, I will give it a tick and I will cancel it. If 
a local anesthetic is applied to the surface of the eye. So it is an external facet, no stress. So what will happen? Reflex tears are inhibited. They are, you know, stopped. But emotional tears are not. So if you are applying an anesthetic, what does an anesthetic do? Anesthetic means there is no, you know, you will not have any sensation. So if there is an external irritation, you definitely would not, you, would, you wouldn't cry. Why? Because there is an anesthetic, that place definitely has no sensation. So RT is not there, right? But ET will still come out. So what does that imply? That ET is different from RT. That is what my doctor field is telling. So this is satisfying doctor field. The chemical composition of tears that are induced by grit, grit is irritants in the eye, is identical to the composition of tears induced by emotional stress. Now, the para is telling me that the function of the tears are different. Now, the composition of a tear, Dr. Field is not discussing. Dr. Field is telling me why RT comes and why ET comes. There is a reason, difference in the reason. This is only talking about the composition. So this option is not impacting or is not related to the this particular little map that we created, this little information that is there. Let's keep this on hold. The concentration of a substance that the body produces, okay, only under stress. So something that the body is greater in tears than in blood serum. So when you're under stress, that particular substance which shows that you're stressed, where do you see it? You see it in tears, but you don't see it in blood serum, especially when you're under stress. What does that imply? That these tears are being used to remove stress, right? So compared to C and D, D definitely is related to the stress and emotional tear relationship. I can definitely give it a tick and a cross. Why? Because this is supporting Dr. Peel's hypothesis that stress and emotional tears have some kind of a relationship. Patients who suffer from a condition which prevents secretion of tears. So basically tears are inhibited. No tears. They display a slower than normal recovery from ET. So this is telling me if there is no tear, that is then your stress definitely, if ET is not there, stress goes up. So this also gives me a direct support to Dr. Field's relationship. So this can also be safely removed. So what happens is, I after I remove all the four options, I am left with one answer. This one answer that I am left with is it does not support Dr. Field or I can say it is irrelevant. That is, it is out of scope. So there are two criteria of correct answer for an accept question. Either it will be out of scope or what will happen? It will definitely be opposite to the wrong family condition. Right? So hence my correct answer for this question is option C. So hope you learned something out of this. So it's a very simple thing. Whenever it is accept, just remember one trick. Don't check except for every option. Cancel it. Find the remaining, the other four options and whatever you're left with will be your answer for an accept question.